Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I guess while I sit here and wait at the butcher shop, I figured I'd start off today's video. Um, Cause I need to get to filming. I ordered a GoPro, $500 kit. Figured I'd use my last YouTube money to buy a GoPro so I can start just capturing everything for you guys and just putting up like hour long videos and uh, not have to worry about anything. Cause right now, filming with my phone and trying to do everything one-handed it just don't work out so if i have a gopro strapped to my chest or my head i'll get a lot more footage for you guys and more footage for you to enjoy so hope you guys are ready for that um but yeah i woke up this morning headed to the butcher shop to drop off a cow a jersey calf or calf jersey cow um and didn't realize till i get here that they don't open till eight o'clock and insurance reasons these days you cannot unload until somebody's here. So they got a padlock on the gate out here, which sucks. Unless somebody's here now, but. See, they got a padlock on the gate right there, but got Jersey cow in here, ready to go. Make me some hamburger, but, um, yeah, hopefully you guys are having an amazing, doggone it, an amazing week so far. My week is not going wonderful at all, which sucks. Just things happen this week that didn't really want to happen. But they did, and that's just life, so I'll move on and um, look toward the future because the future's bright. Um, and yeah, go from there. So once i wait here for an hour for someone to get here to unload me then i'm gonna venture on back home and i'm probably gonna work on a couple tractors today so i'm uh um probably set you guys on a tripod for that because i need to get a couple tractors going to get on auction time you guys are gonna hate me for some of the tractors i'm getting rid of but i got some big things hopefully coming to the channel very very soon um I just hope it all goes through because then I can just work, work, work and get my mind off everything and not have to worry about nothing. So it'll be great if everything falls through. As of right now, it's already been pushed back a week. So we'll see what happens and go from there. Just praying that it all goes through. So um, yeah, I'm gonna sit here a while longer. And then once I get back home, I will pick you guys back up and get started on today's projects. All right, so things are going pretty well here this morning, I'd say. Um, after I got done talking to you guys, one of the workers came and got me unloaded and I got home about a quarter after eight. So that was good, it was about an hour away. So um, yeah, that all worked out pretty good. So now I need to clean out the livestock trailer um yeah and then we need to work on the old 190 xt alice here so this tractor um i hauled it in a year ago or a year and a half ago now and my dad bought it off of me and got it all running and everything and then we worked something else out and he gave it back to me and it's been sitting in the barn ever since and i really have no use for it and need the money for something big coming up so i need to make sure this thing still runs and get it all tip top ready to go to throw on auction time so what i need to do is i got the rear panels on yesterday i need to find a couple good batteries to slap in the thing and get the grill somehow get the grill on the front it's a little beat up but I think it should still latch on the front here. Um, and then yeah, rinse it off real good. And this tractor will be ready to go on auction time. In my last video, a lot of you guys were asking about the old John Deere here that is behind the 190. It's a 4010, not a 4020. It's got a combine motor in it. And this tractor is headed to Iowa. The video on it was supposed to be coming out a month ago, um, but nothing ever goes right, it seems like, for me anymore. So, um, just expect to see a video on that thing, but it's already sold and going bye-bye. 
um who knows when the video might come out but um just it's already going bye bye so i apologize but i can't do nothing about it um just things are so frustrating it just uh ugh. goodness but um yeah that's just how my life's going right now and yeah it was super foggy this morning um this morning was way worse so it was fun delivering this cow but we got her done and uh the rain should hold off till this evening so i should get up and be able to get a lot done today really hoping the old moo cow didn't get this trailer too dirty ah doggone moo cow yeah get the power washer out clean all that out i guess dang moo cow but yeah i guess that's gonna be the first on the agenda is to clean the livestock trailer out um because then i'll swing by the barn and grab the batteries out of the 8050 and i'll use them on that 190 um instead of going to buy new batteries because i think it needs new batteries um and then one more thing before we get started on today's project is i got three pieces listed on auction time right now they sell january 31st next wednesday 2024 um just in case you're watching this video in 2025 <laughs> um but yeah i got this seed tender seed hopper whatever you want to call it two compartment uh freezing or whatever you want to call it 220 box seed tender um with a honda motor it's told it ran last season i don't know if it runs now or not it's got an extension piece there the fold down auger two compartments i mean it's solid but it is flaking some paint off as you guys can tell it's on auction time i'm sure it ain't gonna bring nothing so if you guys have any interest in it um there it is it's pretty solid i'm just gotta get some stuff going um and then a couple tractors are going bye bye everything sell no reserve i ain't bidding any of it up so whatever it goes for it goes for um john deere 60 here super nice tractor super good restoration job fires right up good oil pressure everything checks out as it should on this thing it's selling and then this john deere mt that i've had forever um it runs amazing has excellent oil pressure uh the sheet metal's as straight as it comes but it is missing a seat it does have a hand crank rod um, but it fires right up no matter the temperature or anything super solid tractor i cleaned my 220 um fuel tank with that tractor i strapped it to the wheel and to clean my fuel tank so i put a few hours on that thing it runs amazing so if you guys are interested in either of those three pieces make sure to head on over to auction time and uh get them bought because they're going bye bye and um new things are coming so the 60 and the uh, bulk seed tender came from the same place as the 4010 so you guys will be seeing a video who knows when on all that stuff um but for now we're gonna get to work so first on the agenda like i said let's get this livestock trailer cleaned on out got her all washed out for the most part i mean it ain't spotless but if this ain't clean enough for a livestock trailer then i don't know what is um didn't rinse too hard back here just because this hay didn't want to get it all nasty but looks pretty good to me so i'm gonna go hook it unhook it and uh go big guys back up at the barn to get them batteries out of my 8050. Today's Bible verse is going to be coming out of Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. And it says, 
Therefore, since we also have such a large cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us, and run with endurance the race that lies before us, keeping our eyes on Jesus, the source and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that lay before him endured a cross and despised the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of God's throne. Those Bible verses are very touching. I mean, no matter what we go through in life, we always need to look to the Lord and uh, praise Him because He is so faithful and He helps us through our everyday battles of life. No matter good or bad, He's there by our side. So always run to the Lord in your times of needs or in your times of joys as He will be there for you. Finally, got the old gooseneck livestock trailer unhooked. I'm over here in the barn now, and I'm gonna rob the batteries out of my 8050 here. I did already order a bunch of parts for this thing, so video should be coming out here. I don't know. It's gonna be pretty warm next week, so maybe next week I'll work on it. I'm not sure, um, but I got an AC compressor and stuff for it to go on there and then the throttle cable must have had moisture in it and um it's just junk now because i've heated it up and just beat on it so much that it doesn't work as it should anymore so i went ahead and got a new throttle cable and a whole new ac system for it so i need to get all that put on there for this upcoming season to get it ready to go because it's definitely going to be probably my disc bind tractor as you guys seen in one of my videos i bought a 13 foot case disc bind so it's probably gonna be my hay mowing tractor i'm really trying to find like an 80 10 with a blown motor i'd love to find an 80 10 with a blown motor to run on my baler um but if not i got plenty of other tractors to run the baler on and i really hate to break the news to you guys because I said I would keep it around on the channel. But I think the old 220 needs to find a new home. I stuffed it back there so I wouldn't get rid of it. But I think it's going to venture onto a new home. Because I could use that money on a big purchase. So... I think I might go ahead and sell it. I hate to because it's probably the most favorite tractor on the YouTube channel, but prices are so hot right now on these things that if I can double my money, I might as well take it and run and move on. One of these days, prices might go down again and I'll find another one. Or like the last two times, the second 220 i've owned i might just come across another good deal and one will come in my hands but for now i think the old 220 needs to go so any serious buyers um feel free to reach out to me i'm gonna like, want close to mid 20s for it um so yeah you guys have seen it run and work all the fuel issues are cleared up I mean, this thing is ready to go to work, so gosh, I hate to get rid of it. So yeah, I guess if you guys are interested, shoot me an email, only serious inquiries, please. I'm wanting mid twenties for it. Um, if you bring your own batteries, I'm gonna go a little cheaper on it. If I have to buy new batteries for it, then um, I'm gonna want mid twenties for it, so. That's that. The serial number is 2360 on it. Um, that makes it a 1970. The pump and injectors have been gone through and uh, set at 10% over stock. Um, new sediment bowl on it. Field tank's been flushed and cleaned. The weight's sold off of the front. I do have suitcase weights. You'd have to find the uh, correct weight bracket, uh, but I'd have to have additional money for them. And I also have slab weights but I'd have to have additional money for them as well. Um, so 
yeah, just keep that in the back of your minds. If it don't sell, I'm probably gonna send it to auction and get what I want. Um, just because I've been watching a lot of them sell and they're bringing what I'm wanting. So, uh, I hate to do it, but I hate to do it. But it needs to go. Rather be debt free than have payments. So, um, getting that gone will make me debt free. So, well, I don't owe anything on it, but I can use that money toward my big purchase. So, yeah, then it'll make me debt free. But for now, I need to get the batteries out of here. What the heck is this cat doing? <laughs> Kitty. All right, I'll set you guys on trap. I'll get these batteries out of here. after getting the batteries out of the 8050 and then it dawned on me that the batteries won't even work in this 190 because it is the um, screw on posts not the uh, posts like that so those batteries aren't going to work in this tractor so I tried them in another tractor that I just bought and found out the motor's locked up which that will probably be a video next week um, so stay tuned for that um, because it's a big purchase and a purchase that you guys are going to be like, why in the world did you even buy that? So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see what that is. Um, but yeah, working on the 190 here. The battery that was in it um, tested good. So I charged it for about an hour while I was working on the other tractor. Um, got it all charged up. And I'm not getting no power to the starter button. So... This wire pulled off and then the end broke off. So I'm hoping this is all that it is. I got a new end right there. I'll get that spliced on there. And I'm hoping that is all that it is and this thing fires right up. But if not, then I guess I'll dive in a little deeper. So um, I guess I'll set you guys on the tripod when I get all this figured out. But for now, I'm gonna try to get it figured out somehow from sitting in the barn the starter buttons went bad so i'm gonna have to get a starter button to put that in there to get the starter button to work um because i've got everything all the power and everything got that wire on there um the clutch safety switch has been spliced so you don't need it no more starter button's bad is what it's come down to um so i'll get that replaced and then get that side panel put on there and then give this thing a good old rinse She'll be ready for auction time. The grill doesn't fit too good on there. It's like it's been tweaked a little bit, um, as you guys can tell. So every everything else is, I mean, pretty decent on the tractor. Um, it's a it's a tight tractor. It just ain't the prettiest. Did go ahead and get a different um, battery access cover and step put on there because the other one was. I've already took it apart. Um, but I had that homemade step on it, so I didn't want that on there. That just looks janky. So put original back on the machine and uh, make it look a lot nicer anyways. So overall, this tractor just, yeah, needs a starter button, a little rinse off, and then I'll have it on auction time. Um, and it'll probably sell sometime in February. So if you guys are interested in this tractor, uh, make sure to stay tuned to auction time as it will be going on there. Um, and then, yeah, while I was working on that, my GoPro arrived. So I was going to throw you guys on the head mount and work while you guys were on my head. And um, so you guys could see what I'm doing. But in this 50 in one kit, it does not come with a thing to put the gopro in to put it on your head so i was like well maybe my old gopro thingy will work but it's too small so i guess i'm gonna have to order a thingy to put the gopro in to be able to either put it on my head or on my chest or something like even the gopro didn't even come with a thing 
And then I'm gonna have to buy a battery thing so I can charge all three batteries at once. Because if you guys know anything about GoPros, GoPro batteries suck. They're just like drone batteries. They don't last but 30 minutes, it seems like. So I have to order them two things and then my GoPro will be ready to go, ready to use, get her all charged up and um, be prepared for one of my upcoming videos. And hopefully they, videos keep getting better from here on out, I hope. Um, but what I need to do now is I need to get hydraulic fluid in this thing. It has a bunch of leaks, so it leaks out. Um, and the steering's starting to be slow. So I'm gonna put some fluid in this thing, make sure it still runs, because it should be getting picked up any day now since the weather's getting somewhat decent. The truck should be here to pick it up. So I'll set you guys on the tripod. Get some hydraulic fluid in there. See if that thing still runs. Alrighty, we're gonna see if I can hit this hole or not. Seat wouldn't stay up, so I had to use a board to get the seat to stay up to be able to hit this hole. Come on. Guess I should check it before I do anything. Well, I add marks, so I'll put a couple gallon in and hopefully it straightens everything up. I don't know, the handle's awfully on the wrong part of the bucket. Oh, oh, are we hitting or not? Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, missing. Hope I ain't draining it everywhere. Looks like I'm hitting it. So that but I got some hydraulic fluid in it. I'm gonna see if she still runs. She might need a shot of ether. She ain't been running in a long time. It sold the beginning of January. No, it sold the end of December. And we're at the end of January now, so it ain't been started that long. Well, she fired up, sounds pretty good. So, as you guys will see in an upcoming video one of these days, um, where I haul this tractor in, you'll notice it's not the original motor. It does have a combine motor in it, but it's professionally done. It's a good, clean job. Um, this tractor just needed a little bit of love. Um, as you can hear the rattling in the front, that's the hydraulic couplers that run the shaft. So. That's what's rattling those new replaces and then some leaks and then the shifter columns loose. Um, which I stated all that in my auction time ad because I'm, I'm better off to be as honest as about everything as I can than to screw someone over. So anything and everything I know about a tractor, I throw it on the auction time ad just because I want to be a good guy, not screw someone over. So yeah, overall this thing is pretty Sounds pretty good, looks pretty good though, so. But, yeah, I guess I'm gonna pull it over to the power washer now. Uh, the hydraulic fluid I dumped, I'll get all that rinsed off of there. And then I might rinse off this 190 here and then probably call her a day. I got a guy come to look at the seed tender on auction time here this evening. Uh, but other than that, I really ain't got too much going on. So I guess I'll set you guys on a tripod and get to washing.
right there sounds good. And that is probably going to be a wrap for today's video. Um, I'm going to try to have a video out for you guys this weekend of the stuff I just bought down in Kentucky. Um, so I guess stay tuned for that. I'll try to have it out this weekend. Um, if not, it'll be the beginning of the week, hopefully, as long as everything goes to plan. So 4010, like I said, it's going bye-bye. It's already sold. 190 will be for sale very, very soon. Um, and then there's a couple more out of the collection that are going bye bye as well. Um, hate to see them go, but I can use the money in other places. Um, and why do I need 15 million tractors when I can only drive one at a time? So it's just getting to the point where you got to buy batteries for every single one. You got to fix everything that's wrong with every single one. And when you only use like two out of the 15, then you might as well let some go while prices are still hot. Um, and then buy again when prices go back to nothing. So um, hopefully you guys understand. Um, if not, then you can feel free to unsubscribe. You ain't gotta watch my channel. Um, but if you wanna see why I'm selling everything, um, and what I'm going to spend the money on, you're going to want to make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. It's not going to be tractor related content, but it'll be something that you guys will all probably enjoy because someone or everyone is there at one point in their life. So, um, yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay tuned on what it's going to be. And if you're interested in three pieces, like I said earlier, they're on auction time go bid them up and uh take them home so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that like button for me if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i appreciate it and uh i guess i'll catch y'all next one thanks for watching take care and god bless